Making your notes and workspace in Notion look colourful and vibrant isn't the easiest thing to do, but using the inline math block you can actually get some pretty vibrant colours coming out in your notes, so if you're interested stick around and I'll tell you how. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. To start with, you can make inline maths in lots of different ways. You could use the inline math slash command. You could, if you wanted to, just use the math block for all of the big highlighted notes. If you've written something in text and you need to highlight it or turn it into math, you can just highlight the text and go into the text editor and do it from there. Or you could actually do it using Marktowns, so if you use the two dollar signs before something and then two dollar signs afterwards, then it actually turns the text into inline maths. Now where the colour comes in is because it's inline math, you actually have certain k-text formulas and equations that you can use to essentially code what the text is going to look like. This specific command, the slash and colour, when I put the colour inside of those brackets, that's the colour of the text that it's going to be, whatever words I put afterwards. You can put them in brackets, but you don't have to put them in brackets. Then, because it's inline math, you can carry on typing. So if we go for those two dollar signs, slash colour, select the colour and we put it into brackets and then type what we need, and then put the other two dollar signs, that will then give us our output. There are a few different ways you can actually add colour into your notes. Using the command colour box actually puts a coloured box behind it, just like highlighting notes. But with this command you actually have to put the brackets around the words you're going to say, otherwise it only puts the box behind that first character. And we can combine both of these commands together, so if we go to the beginning of that formula and put slash colour, we can now change the text colour to white and the background is black. You can pick any colour you want, and if you know the number code of the colour that you want, you can actually put that in instead of typing in the colour, blue, red, you can type those numbers in with the hash and then whatever the number identification is. One other thing you can do with the highlight box is if you put an F before the colour box, it actually gives you the option to outline that colour box. So I'm going to have a blue outline, a yellow background, and then black writing. Bearing in mind I don't think inline math is meant to be used in this way, but you can actually use inline math inside of a database. So if we go into the title and we use our markdowns to turn the title into inline math instead of text, you can see it comes up in that equation italic style, and we can use a command slash text to turn it into a text style, and then we can use that slash colour command and add a colour to the title of the database. Now we can do the same thing in the name of the pages inside of the database, because essentially it is just a text block. So I'm going to use those markdowns, go for the two dollar signs, slash colour, type in the colour that I want, and then type in the name. You see, if you get the equation wrong, it will come up with invalid equation, and then you can go into that edit box and then change things as you need, because it will tell you at the bottom of that edit box why it's not working. Now it's not just the name of the page we can adjust, because inline math works with text, we can use the text property and actually colour the text inside that property. So I'm going to use that slash colour box command, select blue, we're going to use name, then I'm also going to change the colour, so I'm going to use the slash colour command, change that to yellow, and now I'm going to copy and paste this down, but because these are different properties in different pages, I can change the colours, because they're all different. So I'm going to change this box to red, this box to green, and this box to purple. So if we now have a look at this database in different views, we can see the board view, the name colour is still the same, and the properties you can see, the box colour and the name colour is still there. Now in the calendar view it is slightly different, and I think it's because inline math wasn't intended to be used in this way, it actually doesn't give you the name of the page, it gives you the whole code that you've put in. The properties still work exactly the same, it's just the name of the page is a little bit funky. And you can see as you go into the list view, the same thing happens, the name of the page is actually the code, not the name that you've put in, but the properties still work the same. But when we go back to the gallery view, the name is what you would expect and shows the colour. You can see when we go in to select these views, the title of the page actually shows the code, not title, because that's the name it's been given. And because Notion is identifying the code as the name of the page, we can't actually reference the name of the page unless you're looking for the code, which is a bit of a drawback at the moment. 
If you're looking to speed up your note taking, maybe check out this video over here and I'll see you there.